In this video, I'll be describing how to do a 30-point extra credit assignment. And that will be using Gas Simulator, a Gas Simulator. And I'm showing you right now my the front page of my website, which is Mr. Wiggersci, that's M-R-W-I-G-G-E-R-S-C-I dot com forward slash chem, C-H-E-M. You can also see that on the page in the top left in this recording. So what I'm going to do is go to the Learning Center and then come on down here to Web Helps. And in Web Helps, I'm going to go to Chapter 14. And in Chapter 14, under Gas Simulators, the very first one is the one that we will use for this assignment. So I'm going to go ahead and go there. And as we open this up and watch it start, you're now seeing the gas simulator in action. So, first thing off, you need to know how to use it. And if you want a tutorial on that, you can see where I am right here. I'm going to go ahead and go to the click here, that very first click here. And what that's going to do is open up a PDF document that will give me, first of all, complete directions and what everything means in this gas simulator. So you can have a written copy there. Next, uh, this would be on page four of this document. You can see the first possibility for points. This is a 10 point assignment. And it goes through and steps, steps you through. You're supposed to do everything that it says in that particular um, little assignment. The next one is Simulation B, and that will start on page 8, and that will show you another set of data that you're supposed to be collecting and whatnot. The last part is starting on page 11, and on page 11, there are some simulators or some systems for you to test out. And you can do any of these. Those first two assignments were 10 points each. This is also worth 10 points if you do at least five of these. Okay, if you want to do more, you can, but you will not get more than 10 points extra credit. So if you're not sure you're doing everything quite right, you may want to do all of them and uh, maybe even go back here for research statements. And then you'll be able to uh, have yourself covered and be sure you get all 10. So total, 30 points. Now let's go and take a look at this thing and see exactly how it works. I'm going to invoke the thing from my website again because I accidentally closed everything. And now we're looking at the simulator again. Now I'm going to move the controls and let you see how they work. First of all, let's check on volume. When you do the volume, this kind of works like you might think it would. It's going to either crunch down the molecules or atoms into a small space or a larger space. And that, of course, is, as you're seeing up here, see where I am up here? You're looking at temperature, or I'm sorry, volume. As volume changes, the pressure is changing. See now, as volume is going down, pressure is going up. And so this is the inverse. It's a demonstration of Boyle's Law. Now we can also take uh, temperature and pressure. Now that's a direct relationship, so as the temperature goes down, you'll notice the molecules are going slower. And you'll see up here that that pressure number is going down because the molecules are moving slower because the temperature is going down. And so you can see uh, the effect that temperature will have on you. The last thing that you can check is number of moles. And you can check helium and neon. Those are the two that you can do with this slider or with this slider. So let's go and look at what happens with moving the moles of helium up. We're going to put more moles in. Notice how it's getting crowded in there? OK. So these are all the things that you can change, and you can watch what happens. You can see the results. Now another thing you can do is you can change which factor is going to be affected by what you do. 
and let's go ahead and move to volume and let's check volume against temperature okay let's do temperature now you see I just clicked here to invoke a volume and now I'm going to click down here to change a temperature as temperature goes up because this is a direct relationship we're going to be seeing the plunger move up because it's going to push that guy out all right and you can see from looking at this number and from looking at this number what happens as you move this thing up and down now another fun feature of this simulator is you can enable tracking by clicking here and look what that does there's one little molecule in there always that has an X on it it always has an X on it and that one allows you to keep your eye on one thing and see what's happening to that one molecule and if you like the tracking can be enabled and you can see where it's been because it leaves a trail behind it now you can also do a pause and stop things and if you have tracking enabled when you pause you will be able to see where that molecule has been and here's our little guy with the X on it and there's the trail that he left behind so you can see where he was where he hit and what caused him to go different directions so that's very helpful now as we resume I want you to see something down here see this red this little red thing see it keeps moving because what's happening is its velocity is changing as it gets hit by other molecules it will change velocity every time it gets hit by another molecule it will change velocity and so it's going to be in a different position uh, separated from the average which is what this line represents the average velocity of all the molecules and you'll notice that average velocity is going to go up as I increase the temperature and let's let's get back to doing pressure and I can get the pressure up or I can get the, the uh, temperature up higher and you'll notice temperature is in kelvins and you see the temperature as it moves the average velocity moves see it going back and forth see I'm moving here but down here where this line is it's moving as well pretty cool stuff huh so you can play with this get familiar with it see how it works and demonstrate the relationships even you, you can uh, you can track data and uh, the, the whole simulator thing will teach you how to do that